Hello and welcome to the Chair of the Week video with me, Dave Madden. Today's date is Thursday the 7th of June 2018 and the time has just gone 12.10 British Summer Time. This week's Chart of the Week is the Dow Jones, as we call on a platform, the US 30. After many months of broadly pushing higher after the major sell-off at the start of the year, we're finally seeing signs that Dow Jones could be looking to actually break higher. It's set to, it's set to open at a three-month high today. Uh, and also, if you take a look at the, at the price action over the last number of months, we have seen a series of higher lows. This red line here is the 200-day moving average. And on a number of occasions, the Dow traded south of the 200-day moving average. Over the last few weeks, it's been firmly above the 200-day moving average, which is a positive sign. If you draw a, a line between the lows of February and the lows of May, we can see, we can see that, that trend line support is coming into play. And of course, the Dow Jones is well above that, that trend line, so also positive. It is worth noting that the S&P 500 is also set to open at a three-month high. And only yesterday, we've seen record highs on both the Nasdaq and also the Russell 2000. So it confirms that the, it ties in nicely with the broader set, positive sentiment in U.S. equities. And also, if you look, take a look at the price action in recent sessions, as it's been moving higher here, and take a look at the MACD indicator, we can see it's swung from negative momentum to positive momentum, and the positive momentum is actually expanding now. So the move higher in recent sessions has been confirmed by the increase in positive momentum. So the momentum is clearly with the buyers. If it could do continue to push on higher from here, the next level to watch out for the upside could be the mid-March high of 25,507. And if we go beyond that, we could be looking at the mid-February high of 25,821. Beyond that, 26,000 is, is the next big psychological number to watch out for. And then beyond that, we could be looking heading to this, this, this region here of 26,250 where there's a lot of consolidation. And if we go beyond that, we could then be looking at, at retesting the all-time highs of January of 26,706. But if you do move to the downside, uh, there, there could potentially be an opportunity for fresh buyers to enter the fold. So if we do drift lower from here, support may come into play at uh, this, this yellow line here, at the 100-day moving average, which comes into play at, at just south of 24,800, 24,796. Notice how recently this particular line acted as both support and resistance in recent sessions. And if it acted as both support and resistance in recent sessions, it makes it more likely that it will do in the future. A drop below there could take us back down to this, to this blue line here, the 50-day moving average, which comes into play at 24,470. And once again, notice how a few occasions the market drifted below the 50-day moving average, but it still managed to, to retake it again. So these are areas we could see uh, potential support coming into play should we turn lower. If you move south of the, of the 50 day moving average, the next area uh, to watch out for will, the, this will be this red line here, the 20 day moving average, which comes to play at 24,146. 24, there has been a couple of occasions where the, the, the market dropped below the 20 day moving average in recent months, but has, has always managed to regain it. It's only if you break this trend line here, which, uh, which comes into play in around 23,750. Could, could then actually be a sign that the market is actually going to head retest the February the, the, the 2018 lows of 23,138. Well, that's all for me this week. Thank you very much.